Usually manatees are spotted down in Florida this time of year, but this weekend a couple of the mammals were seen in Bayou Benar, that in the Big Lake area. Tonight we have the elusive and exclusive video. Bill Snyder joins us live in Gulfport with the woman who shot the video yesterday and more on why it's not actually that rare to see manatees in our waters, huh Bill? Yeah, that's what I hear, Dave. You know, we hunted bears earlier this summer. I've been in the Bermuda Triangle, seen some weird things, but you wouldn't expect to see manatees in our waters, but that's what happened this weekend. And from what I found out, manatees aren't exactly an anomaly here on the coast. Oh, he came up. There he is. Marsha Wally and her husband were fishing this weekend at James Hill Park in Gulfport when a couple of manatees made a surprise appearance. They're coming up. She tells me some other folks at the park saw them first, and she thought it was a joke until she shot this video. Now, just to be clear, these manatees aren't the ones from the Geico commercials, and as far as we know, they're not related to the Loch Ness Monster. As far as manatee sightings go, Moby Solange with IMMS says it's a little unusual to have sightings in our waters because the water is so brackish and dark. However, he says it's not uncommon. Solange tells us the manatees have been seen in Bernard Bayou and in and around the Big Lake area. You can see right here. Both spots, he says, are full of the warm water these mammoth mammals enjoy. We usually see them in the wintertime. Uh, these are probably stragglers. We don't know why they come in this part of the world. They have to have food. Uh, this is brackish water. Uh, they, they need to be out of here, but if this is where they want to be, then that's fine. They're fine, he says, as long as the manatees don't meander in front of any boat traffic in the area. Solange says boat propellers are the prime suspects whenever manatees end up dead. We need to let all the boaters know that these are very slow moving animals, very large animals. They, they may look like a big trunk of a tree. Otherwise, he says, if you see these gentle giants while you're fishing or on the water, it's best to enjoy them from a safe distance and mind your manatee manners. We just want them to be careful. We're going to watch them as long as they're eating and swimming okay. We're going to leave them alone. And we talked about Marsha Whaley. Marsha's here with me now here at James Hill Park. And Marsha, so you're out here fishing yesterday and you see some manatees. That's not something you see out here a lot, is it? No, sir, it sure isn't. Now tell me about uh, what you were thinking when you saw them. Holy cow, what are these? <laughs> I have never saw these in our waters before. Was it holy sea cow? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sending us that video. Uh, pretty surprising, though, huh? Yes, sir, it sure was pretty uh, and you know you saw them got the video and everything you said you came back early to join us you were hoping they were maybe out here again huh? yes sir sure I, yes <laughs> <laughs> it's okay hey I appreciate it Marcia so much so uh, you never know what you see out here lately it's been manatees and who knows we may see them again before all is said and done here in Gulfport Bill Snyder WLOX News Now yeah.